Lucky Boys Podcast. You don't go through life without a struggle. Even when if you're born with a silver spoon, right? That's going to be a whole other struggle that we can't relate to. Right. Maybe the struggle is that you're lazy. You're less motivated. Why would you need to get up and go do something if the money's going to be there the whole time? The right? biggest thing I see with people that was born with silver spoons in their mouth, and I've hung out with them. I had conversations with them. The biggest struggle that I see with them is that they try so hard to be relatable or to understand what normal people go through. Right. They can't. Hmm. They could never do that, but they try right. to downplay. Number one, they always try to downplay their wealth. Right. They try to. Um, they don't act their income for the most right. part. With, with they want to be cool with everyone and say, "Look, I'm not this guy." Right. That's one. Two. They have strong opinions about things, but they never live through that. Like they don't really understand. Like those ideas sometimes don't work. Right. They think that it does, be, you know, someone in the ivory tower can't tell me how to walk. Right. Well, because they can't relate, right? Like, they've never maybe been in a moment where they were hungry and they didn't have money for that. They don't know what being hungry you know feels what like. like. Like, in that detachment from Earth, from being an actual human, from these things, you know. Uh, and, and not that it's not possible. I'm sure there's rich, you know, people out there that... They're, they're, they're giving back, right? Um, Look, but the news won't put them out there. <laughs> but that, here's what I'm saying. is like they, they could tell me all the stuff that they see on the news, read in a book and movies they watch. Right. But right. they can't tell me what it feels like to walk around with holes in your shoes and that's all you got. Right. They can't tell me what it feels like to really have hunger. They can't tell right. me what right. it feels like to wear the same clothes every day. Right. They can't tell me what it feels like to walk around having to look over your shoulder because you're not sure if this is safe for you while coming home from school. Right. Right. They don't they can't tell me how it really right. feels like. Right. They can't yeah. they don't have those first hand experiences. Right. They can't tell me what you know, it, it's like this. It's like I could tell you what Chinese food looks and smells like all day right right because i've I've watched my parents cook it but if you only watch what you see in movies and you're trying to tell me what your experience with chinese food to someone that doesn't that haven't experienced it too they go oh yeah yeah." and let's say you're a really articulate and excellent communicator and you're telling me how great chinese food tastes like and how it's the process is being made someone could go oh yeah but you can't really tell me how it smells, how it cooks, and watching right. your mom make it, and you right. getting involved with it, and how it feels when it when that when that hot plate actually hits right. the table. So that that's what I'm talking no, about. No, I truly get it because unless you're in it, there's no way for you to know. Right. You know what I mean? Like like I'm sure your culture has like my culture is rice and beans growing up. Like that was it, right? And so every culture has their thing, and that's why I always like try to encourage and inspire and influence onto the people that it's really not about putting my struggle against your struggle. It's really just understanding that struggle is struggle. You understand? Like and life is struggle. Does right. it matter how rich you are? Because right, if you're rich, there's a detachment, right, from like maybe morals or or, or or human sensitivity, right? Because you've had to chase this bag the whole time, and a lot of times chasing the bag requires a lot of sacrifice. Family time is gone because I, I I got to do this, right? And so now this kid growing up in this rich house, okay, albeit he has money, but where's the love in this kid's life, right? Mm. Where's that struggle? The, 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 the kid that's growing up in the hood maybe don't understand that struggle because their parents are feeding them with love because that's what they got to give them. Right. You understand? And so the struggles are just different, but the struggle is there. Yeah. And so we would, could find a common ground if we would stop putting our struggles over each other and put them side by side and just be like, man, like, you know what I mean? Like, I could help that rich white, uh, rich kid, you know what I mean, that doesn't really get the love from their household because money comes before that, right? Unfortunately, because that's what happens. You know what I mean? Um, I mean, there's rare instances where I think people have a substantial amount of money and they still give love. There's people out there. But I think what you normally see is that money, because to get that sub- substantial amount of money, it kind of takes, to, you got to cut some throats somewhere. You know My I mean? problem is is really just if you haven't been through it to right. have an opinion, a strong opinion, and speak right. on behalf of, for example, if you you were rich your whole life, and then you were, and then you're trying. You're speaking as if you were poor your whole right. life. That that's my problem. Yeah. Oh yeah. Well, that's just like culture appropriating, right? There's got to be a, a word for that. Struggle appropriating, <laughs> yeah. right? Like like you you ain't about you more, that life. Yeah, I respect was you that more. Struggle Olympics. Yeah, I, I, that yeah. Struggle a, Olympics. Like yeah. I, I I respect you more if you go look. I I've been crazy rich my whole life. 
I, I can't really fully understand, but I can relate and I feel for you, man. That sounds horrible. Like, you know what I mean? Like, I, right there, I was cause, like, because he's, he's, he's magic, Cause that's right? Truth. That's the genuineness right. we're talking about. Right. But for you to be fake and go, yeah, I know, one time, like, I left my credit cards at home and I totally get it, man. It's, it's, <laughs> I was like, yo, man. I left my black f- card, and man, it was such a hard day, you know. I had to drive the Civic. I had to oh fly gosh. back in my Ferrari. <laughs> I had to beat flies. the cops in a race to get back. Like, get out of here, bro. You know yo, what I mean? I was hanging out with this kid so rich. He was like, I was like, he came, he pushed up with a Porsche, and he apologized. I was like, what? He goes, I was like, yo, this is a dope car. And you know what he said? Everybody drives a Porsche. It's not a, it's a normal car. Because there's always the next level, though. That's Ferrari, the thing. Lamborghini, he goes, that's nice. Well, this is okay. I was like, okay. And, 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 and you know what? And I love to say this because this is something I learned, you know, in, 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 my, in my growth. What's, what is chaos to the fly is normal for the spider. You understand? And, like, it takes... Like, I had to think about this for a while. Like, what does that really mean? And this is truly life. You know, to us, you pulling up in that nice Porsche, shh, that's chaos. That's fire. But to him, his spider life, he's been doing that. He knows other spiders. This is nothing. Mm. That's normal. You see? And so every time, in every scenario, it's literally that. You know what I mean? For someone, it's chaos. For someone, it's normal. Normalcy. You know, if you, if you come from a, a very, very oppressed hood, like, for the cops, to, for you to feel oppression by the cops, that's normal. For a white person to feel pressure by cops, that's chaos. Mm-hmm. My God. This life is balanced one way or another, but it's hard in our human experience to see these things and go, I see the balance, you know, because, again, we put our struggle over the other. Listen to the greatest scenario, right, that could happen on planet Earth. If we put our struggles side by side, how we could help each other, right? The rich person who maybe is detached from love in their life because when you pursue money, this is a, a byproduct of that normally. The poor person, all they got is love. I'll help your struggle if you help my struggle. You understand? If you're a gazillionaire, like, man, I'll just give me a little bit of financial freedom. Man, I'll show you love forever. And it's not about owning. It's not about owning. You know what I'm saying? It's not you giving me money now so that I give you this fake love. All through, gen- like, genuine. You have to move genuinely. You understand? But, like, if, if, if you know, any rich person listening that feels like a lack of love in their life, find somebody with a financial struggle. Give. Bless these people. Mm-hmm. And watch the love you're going to get back in return. Why, why, when you see celebrities and they do philanthropy work and they're just giving back, you see the love they get? You understand? And that's perfect harmony. That's putting our struggles right next to each other. You know, and saying, you know what? Your struggle, I was born rich. You were born poor. We didn't get to choose that shit. That was maybe our parents or our parents' parents, right? Or, and depending on the pigmentation you were born with, then there's a whole other conversation of where you're at in life, right? In these social classes. Mm-hmm. Put your struggles side by side and watch some magic happen. Lucky Boys Podcast.